A new poll of likely GOP primary voters this week brings new insight into the 2024 governor's race. The poll found Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson far ahead of other potential candidates. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie has a closer look at those numbers. Lieutenant governors are often not very well known. It's not a terribly high profile job, but it does offer the opportunity for statewide travel and visibility. And political experts say Robinson has been making the most of it. Mark Robinson is a political newcomer who surprised many in his own party by winning the 2020 nomination and later the election for lieutenant governor. He hasn't yet officially announced a run for governor in 2024, but most observers expect him to. His homophobic and anti-Semitic comments have generated controversy, but he has a higher approval rating among Republican-based voters than any other potential GOP nominee. Republican political consulting firm The Differentiators polled 500 likely Republican primary voters about their opinions on potential GOP candidates in 2024. 54.8 percent of respondents had a favorable opinion of Robinson. Only 8.4 percent viewed him unfavorably. 15.6 percent had no opinion one way or the other, and 21.2 percent had never heard of him. Jim Blaine is one of the firm's founders. Shockingly high. Like I expected when we uh, did the survey to find him with strong approval numbers with Republicans, but you know they were not that far off from you know the Trump DeSantis level. The survey also looked at hypothetical matchups between Robinson and other potential GOP candidates for 2024. One is State Treasurer Dale Falwell. He also has not yet announced a run for governor, but is widely expected to. If they were voting today, 59.7 percent of likely GOP primary voters would opt for Robinson. Just 6.3 percent said Falwell, and 34 percent, about a third, were undecided. In a matchup against former governor Pat McCrory, Robinson did even better. 60.4 percent said they would choose Robinson, with McCrory garnering just 20.6 percent. 19 percent said they were undecided. I mean, he spent the last two years winning the Republican primary. It's over. So I think the big question here is, OK, can he pivot having won that primary? Can he pivot and start to run more of a general election race and speak to voters in the middle? Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. And we asked Lieutenant Governor for a comment on the poll. He said, I am honored by the support and look forward to the people of North Carolina continuing to get to know me, my background, and my vision for the state. He did not say when he plans to make a formal announcement.